everybody. Um, so first, I just want to thank Ty for putting this group together because I think what you've gotten so far is just a really broad range of everything from the professor who's getting you through this experience to all these ideas of what can come next for you. And so I feel like a responsibility to tie that all together. And in some ways, I'm the right person to do that because I'm you, I was a student here. I, I'm an OU grad and now I'm a lawyer. And I think that's, you're here probably thinking that's what you want for yourself. And so I think one of the things that Juan said that I think is, is of paramount importance is when he said you will be surrounded by people who have passion and who are hardworking and who are driven and who are curious. The thing that I need to implore upon you is that you need to be one of those people if you're going to do it. Because that would be the mistake, is if you don't have that passion and that drive. I mean, like, you have, forget about like how well you can write and everything. You have to have a purpose to be there, a drive, whether it's to be a lawyer, whether it's to have the experience like Chris did, if that's just gonna be exciting for you, whether it's the piece of paper, this really important piece of paper that can get you jobs way outside of law if you want. It's an, it's an amazing credential to have. I have never technically practiced law. If you know your Hamilton, he says, I practiced law, I practically perfected it, but uh, I haven't perfected it and I haven't practiced it. But what I've been is I've been in-house counsel in a lot of different situations, in a lot of different industries the transportation industry, the technology industry, and now President Carter wanted me to head up Lawrence, uh, all of Lawrence Legal, even though I'd never been in higher ed before. And why did she trust that? Well, a lot of it comes back to the Lawrence education. And then the second piece is the legal education. But what I got here at Lawrence, I think the one thing I want to cheerlead about to you is if you watch this movie and if you hear all, heard all these people talk, and if you go and talk to Steve and the other advisors, and this is something that you want to do, you can do it. I mean, this, you're, you got into Lawrence, great. And, but if you succeed and get your Lawrence degree, you're gonna be really surprised at the skills that you have developed way outside of the grades you've gotten and the tangible things you remember and the, and the books you read. You have become a critical thinker. You have developed analytical problem solving skills that you don't even know, probably until you sit down to take the LSAT. I did not go uh, into law school right away. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a government degree. I wanted to be a political science professor. <laughs> um, but what I ended up doing was chickening out of that. And I took a job doing insurance claims over in Stevens Point for Century Insurance Company. Not a bad job. There was a little poster in the Career Center that said government majors wanted, what the hell? So I did it and I started liking it, but I started taking these cases pretty far. And then right when they'd be getting good, I'd have to hand them over to a lawyer. And then so eventually I was just like, well, A, they're getting the fun stuff and B, they're getting paid a lot more money than I am. So I'm just gonna take the LSAT. And I did it on a whim. I didn't take a prep course. I didn't talk to anybody like what's the LSAT like. And I had not been that great of a text taker. I was a test taker. I was mediocre um, and Yet when I sat down to take the LSAT, it was easy. It was great. It was fun. And I ended up being like top 2% and I could go pretty much wherever I wanted. And I decided to go back to University of Illinois, which is where I was from. But anyway, I attribute, I mean, I would really like to see studies and there should be research that we can show people who are interested in coming to Lawrence about how good people with Lawrence, how well, I'll correct my, get some grammar points, how well people with Lawrence actually, actually do on tests like the GREs and the LSATs, where it challenges you just to think and apply that thinking to an answer. And so then, yeah, you're well served, you'll take the LSAT, you'll do fine. Then you go to law school. And if it's right for you, you will also do fine there because it is the same thing. And I totally encourage you to take one of Professor Wolf's classes if you hadn't already because it was my experience at Lawrence in these classes with the student uh, to faculty ratio that's so incredible um, where you can actually have that kind of dialogue, where you could have the privilege of having the dialogue with somebody who's gonna evoke from you things that you maybe didn't know you knew in a way that you can remember them. And so my great professor was Professor Manu Adenwala who I had for political thought and I had for political philosophy. And he told, this is why I wanted to show this movie because John Houseman, who is the antagonist uh, in this 
at law professor, he he sounds a little bit like Professor Ian Walla, and he teaches a lot like him. He was hard. I got I was scared going to his class every day because I thought he, he would say Mr. Shot, and then it would just be boom, it was on, and it was on me. And but I eventually turned that fear into kind of like privilege. Like I'm the guy who gets the private law lesson today. I get to interact with this person today. And so that carried over to law school because it's, it's a fun movie to watch and you, do, and you do need to go through these emotions. That is a lot of pressure. Um, but if you have a Lawrence degree and you enjoyed your experience here, you can really have like the experience that, that Juan was just talking about, about this is uh, three years where you're out there in the world and you get to talk about important things, important things that are contemporary. Like, wow, it would be incredible to be in law school right now with the things that are going on in our country and the world. Um, and that would be essentially your job for three years is learning about it and talking about it. Um, and you have this great experience now to be a student and be doing that. So um, I don't know, I didn't tell much of my story, but I was just really inspired hearing these people talk about their experiences. And the best thing I can say to you is, yeah, you can do it. I was general counsel for uh, Wolfram Research Company, a large software company for 16 years before coming here. And I just wanted to get back to Lawrence because that was the most important time in my life. And so if there's anything I can do for any of you who are thinking about law school or just thinking about whether to be a government major, or if there's anything I can do to, um, to help you with your questions or to get you out into the world being a lawyer or making your decisions of what come next, I want to do that because that's why I'm back here. Because this place meant a lot to me. Uh, it's been, it's led to a great career. And um, anyway, I want to meet as many students as I can and help you all do the same thing. So thanks a lot, Ty.